Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at an example that deals with dollar value LIFO. Dollar value LIFO is used when the company uses LIFO last and first out. Because of the new layers that we are adding and there's inflation involved, we have to factor out the inflation in order to figure out the true new layer. Now I did explain dollar value LIFO in the prior session. So if you're interested, go to the prior session and look at the detailed explanation. In this session, I will work an exercise going over dollar value LIFO from 20x3 to 20x7. Now I will explain the concept as I'm going through this exercise, but if you want just the explanation, please go to the prior session. Starting with 20x3, we have ending inventory based on year end pricing, which is this column here, and we have the price index, the price index, which is some measure of inflation. And for the first year, it happens to be for us 20x3, we assume the price index is 100 or there's, this is our base here, we're starting from this point. So for the first year, it's going to be pretty easy. For the, the dollar value LIFO for year one is 170,000 times times 100% or the index 100 or 0.1 or 1.0. It doesn't matter how you look at it. For the first year, it's going to be the same because the base year is, is the year that we started with. So that's that. Now let's take a look at 20x4. The first thing I want you to notice is this. 20x4 inventory went from 70,000 to 90,300. Now, if we look, if we compute just the raw figures, the pricing uh, based on year-end pricing, we find out that there was an increase in inventory of 20,300. Well, we really can't say that because this number, the 90,300, includes inflationary figures. So what do we have to do first? The first thing we have to do is deflate this number. What do I mean by deflate this number? We have 90,300. Inflation went up, it went up technically by 5%, went to 1.05 or 105. So the first thing we have to do is to deflate this number. So let's go ahead and deflate this number. So we're going to do first, so we ignore the 20,300 because this number include inflationary figures. So the, to deflate that 90,300 will take 90,300 divided by the price index. So we'll take 90,300 divided by the price index. And that's going to give us this number here, 86,000. Now, once we know this is 86,000, now we can compare. This is basically the deflated figure. Now we can compare this number to this number. Now, those two numbers are comparable. We can compare them. And what do we notice? We notice that the true inventory went up by the difference between those two. And what's the difference between those two? Do we have a new layer of 16,000? So this is the true increase in inventory without factoring the inflation. Now, we cannot ignore the inflation. We have to take this figure, the 16,000, then reinflate it again at 1.05. Why? Because this figure, this is the new layer. This is the, this is the, this is the amount that we purchased during that year that we experienced inflation of five percent. Well, what we do now is our do dollar value life was the seventy thousand because we still have that seventy thousand. It has to be based on the inflation based on the figures. Then we're going to take the sixteen thousand and inflate it by one point oh five, and it's going to become sixteen thousand eight hundred. So what we did is we, after we figure out the new layer, we took the new layer and we inflated at 1.05. So first we deflated all of the inventory to figure out what's the new layer. Then we'll take the new layer, which is 16,000 and inflate the new layer. Therefore, our dollar va value LIFO for 20x4 is 86,800. We're done with 20x4. Let's look at 20x5. Well, again, if we take the difference between 95, 95,000 and 120. Let's do that, which is, it's not needed, but I, I want you, I want to do this just to show you what's going to happen here. Minus 90,300. We see from a raw numbers, the inventory went up by 4,820. Well, we should ignore this number. Just we ignore the 20,300. The first thing we have to do is to deflate our inventory. So we'll take the inventory based on year pricing divided by Inflation, 1.16, and let's see what that number is, divided by 1.16, and that's 82,000. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the deflated figure 
if we compare this to the base, what we started with, well, guess what? The base was 86 from the prior year. The deflated amount went from 86 to 82. What does that mean? It means for 20x5, we went down by 4,000 based on base figure. Why? Well, because we did not buy new inventory and all that increase of 4,820 has to do with inflation. If anything, our inventory, actual inventory compared to the prior year, compared to the deflated figures, went down by 4,000. So we don't have a new layer for 20x5. So how do we do this? Well, basically we eroded a layer. That's what happened. Let's see how we do this. Uh, and by the way, what is the adjustment before we do 20x5? What is the adjustment? Well, what you have to do is you have to prepare an adjustment for uh, to, to reflect your inventory under dollar value LIFO. And the adjustment is this, you compare the 86,800, the dollar value LIFO, 20x4, to what you are reporting in 20x4, which is 90,300. You compare those two and you have to write down your inventory. The difference between them is 3,500. Therefore, when you write down inventory, you debit cost of goods sold. You don't credit inventory. You credit a contract account called allowance to reduce inventory. So that's the entry to adjust your inventory. I know this is most likely they will not ask you for it, but I just wanted to add it. Now let's go back to 20x5. 20x5, we said based on raw number, inventory went up by 4,820. That's not true, and we don't need we don't need this number. After we deflated 20x5, we find out it's 82,000. And when we compare 82,000 to the prior year base, which is 86 deflated 04, we notice that inventory went down by 4,000. So we don't have a new layer. We don't have, there's no new layer for 20x5. If anything, if anything, our old layer, you remember we had a layer of 16,000? This layer here now will have to be reduced by 4,000. Okay, let's do that. So our, our dollar value LIFO for 20x5 is the 70,000. That's true. Then the old layer from 20x4, if you remember 20x4 was 16,000. Now we have to reduce it by 4,000. What's left is 12. Then we have to go back and reinflate that 12 at 1.05. We, re we reflate the 12 because this 12 belongs to 20x4 and in 20x4 inflation was 1.05. So 12,000, 1.05 will give us 12,600. So notice no x5 layer because in 20x5, we did not have a new layer. We did not buy inventory. Actually, we sold some of the inventory from 20x4. Let's now take a look at 20x6. 20, it's best to have this Excel sheet, uh, you know, on Farhat Lectures, you can download this Excel sheet if you're interested in it. Now for 20x4, again, we'll do the same thing, but it's useless to compare 95,100 to 105. It doesn't matter. Whatever that increase is, you ignore it. The first thing you do is you take 20x6 and you deflate 20x6 to find out how much is the deflated 20x6 figures. So the inflation was 20% divided by 1.2. It's 88,000. Now, what happened 88,000? Now we have to compare this deflated amount to the amount from the prior year, the deflated amount from 20x5. I deleted it, but I have it here. So let's go back to deflated x5. So this is the deflated x6 figure, 88,000. And the prior year deflated x5 was 82. Well, guess what? Now we put a new layer, we added a new layer, we went from 82 to 86. Now, I'm sorry, from 82 to 88, we added a new layer, a $6,000 new layer. Now we have a new layer. Okay, then we have a new layer. What do we have to do with this new layer? That this new layer will have to reinflated it or subject to inflation of 1.2. Therefore, our dollar value LIFO for 20x6 is the 70,000, the 12,600 from the prior year. Then we'll take the 6,000 and reinflate it at 1.2, 7,200. But remember now, just make sure that 20x4 layer is 12,000. I just want you to be aware of that. Let's take a look from 20x6 to 20x7. From 20x6 to 20x7, something unusual happened. Even, even based on year-end pricing, our inventory went down just by year-end pricing. So let alone when we factor inflation. What we have to do first? Factor inflation. So find the deflated 20x7 figure. Therefore, we'll take 100,000 divided by 1.25. 
and that's equal to 80,000. So notice, our base year, the prior year, deflated amount was 80, 88, now it went down to 80. What does that mean? There's no new layer for 20X7. We did not buy new inventory. If anything, we sold layers, LIFO, LUST, and FIRST OUT. Now we're going to go back and remove 8,000 from the old layers. So which old layers are we going to be working with? The first old layer will be the prior year, because LIFO, LUST, and FIRST OUT. Therefore, we're going to wipe out this layer. So this layer is gone. So the 20X6 layer is gone, because we have 8,000. So if we if we used up 6 for 20x for 20x6 we still have 2000 we go we have to go back to the prior layer which is 20x we don't have x5 x5 we did not have a new layer so we have to go back to 20x4 and we had 10000 and of that 10000 we're going to deflate another not deflate remove another two what's happened is we have 10000 left so all we have to do all what we have now is the 20x4 layer of 10000 and the original 20x3 layer at 70,000. This layer of, you know, the 70,000 right here. So 20x3 and 10,000 from 20x4 because 20x5, no new layer. 20x6 layer, that 6,000 is wiped out. So what's left is 70,000 from 20x3 and 10,000 from 20x4. But that amount is subject to 1.05, which will give us 10,500. 20x6 is gone. Again, 20x5, no layer. And 20x7, no layer. So dollar value life for 20x7 is 80,500. So I hope this exercise helped you understand the changes in inventory and help you understand how we compute this using dollar value life. What should you do now? Farhat lectures, where you have additional lectures, multiple choice, true, false. That's going to help you understand this topic. Don't take any chances. Dollar value life is important. Good luck. Study hard. And of course, stay safe.